All right, so we're back once again, and today we're going to be discussing something that I have, I don't think I've ever seen this before in World of Warships, I think in any game I've played. And if you're guessing from the thumbnail, and if you're guessing from the title, then you're probably right. Yes, today we're going to be discussing Torpedo Boat Haragamo. Um, this game is a perfect example of that, and why it doesn't work. Well, actually, we all know it doesn't work, but... I guess this video is just going to demonstrate it at a higher level, or... Anyways, I start off the game, as you do, in my daring, just going around the map. We were going to start pushing down this flank, but then I thought there's only three of my allied ships on this flank, so I was thinking, hmm, hmm, maybe not a great idea. Especially if the entire enemy team decides to push the same flank, and then we end up basically isolated, and we all get one shot, which happens more often than you would think. Instead... I decided to take a little break, push into the center of the map, and then, then, luckily, as luck would have it, the Vladivostok and the North Carolina come to save the day and push this flank with me. What that means, though, is that uh, I stand a very high likelihood of bumping into something like, oh, look at that, the Neptune, or, as I mentioned earlier, the Haragumo. Now, I'm not quite sure why the Neptune spotted here, but we do see the Haragumo. And there's not a hell chance that I'm going to push out of the smoke. Because if I do, I'm going to bump into the Haragumo. And I'm going to bump into the Neptune. And well, I'm going to die. And this video is going to be very short. But, as luck would have it, filling up, or fulfilling up to the role which I assigned it, the Haragumo decides to initiate torp boat sequence. And decides to very, uh, let's say, speculatively fire torps in my smoke now as i may dodge them my friend to the left right here as you'll see in a second isn't as lucky and well i could say i'm surprised but as you're gonna see in a minute uh, it tends to happen a lot more often than you'd think so with this being happening or I suppose you could say it's happening but you know it's a consequence of just playing a game in World of Warships I decide to pull back because well I can't push forward into a turp it's a Neptune in Massachusetts a Lennon and the Harugumo you know I don't think that will be a good idea well but if you do think it's a good idea maybe leave a comment below and we'll discuss it in the comments but actually back to the gameplay the, what what are you doing yep Anyways. and as I said earlier much like the Odin decided to walk into my the Harrigan was torpedoes, the Turpus decided to walk into mine without ever changing direction. Now, there's only one thing you really want to do in this position like this, and that's smoke up and start, you know, he's already flooding. Why not set him a couple of fires too at the same time? So we decided to do that. And this gains us the first kill of the day, which is pretty nice, all things considered. Now, I'm still very conscious of that, the fact that the Harrigan was still on my left-hand flank. So... Mm, that's that's a bit of a worry, but again, he's a tarp boat, so it doesn't really matter. And <laughs> or I'm, but in my silly head, I'm playing under the impression that he's a gunboat and he knows what he's doing, which is is strange in World of Warships because more often than not, if you assume a player is going to, is going to do something, they tend to end up doing the opposite or doing the stupidest thing. So it's kind of a double think where you have to predict what they're going to do and then do the opposite as if they're going to do the opposite which kind of makes sense but doesn't really make sense if the player base isn't all that good um, myself included so yeah i don't know but the harugum was still off to the left hand flank so i don't know what's happening there i decide well obviously i can't push into the harugum because he's a torp boat and he'll kill me in three salvos so i have to pull away unfortunately and stop myself from doing more damage than i already have done now the next cut this part out because it's getting kind of boring. Now once again I'll pop the Harugumo and me being the conscious player that I am thinking well if I get spotted by him I'm probably going to lose any 1v1 trade I take. So we have to pull away once again. Now this torpedo hits an imaginary ship in the, in the smoke which I think is a Massachusetts or the no wait it's a Leonard. Well, I'm just delusional. Anyways. So we do get another torpedo which takes up to about 89k which is a pretty decent amount even for you know considering how early it is in the game and once again we start doing blah 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 on the Massachusetts now at this point I'm aware the Harrigan was smoked up right on that side and 
for some reason, instead of actually, well, he can't really push. He decides to start shooting into my smoke, which he's not doing a very good job of. But again, let's fast forward because, well, this is boring. It's just me basically left clicking all day long. But now, ladies and gentlemen, now we have 100k, we have support from the Akazuki, and now I actually feel comfortable enough pushing the Harugumo with the Akazuki. Once again, another tarp tar boat special from the Harugumo. Very speculative, doesn't work because, well, the Harugumo isn't a tarp boat. If you wanted to do that, you should have played the Shimakaze. But with the position I'm in, I'm like, okay, maybe I can take this trade with the Akazuki and we can win it. <clears throat> so we start opening fire and well, like a good torp boat, instead of actually trying to engage, he decides to turn away, which is, I suppose good for me, but it also just raised more questions than it answered. And it was a, frankly a little bit troubling, because this game was very weird. But anyways, as you'll see here in a second, the Harugumu has a very good reason to be considered a very strong gunboat. And with just one salvo hitting me, he takes 3,000 damage off me. So, never let it be said that the Harugumu isn't a useful gunboat. But in this game, it was used as a turp boat, and it was about as effective as a rubber dinghy sailing in the middle of the ocean. Okay, let's move on to the next part of the video. Actually, frankly, let's just speed this forward because, well, this is nothing more than just me right clicking, which is boring. And well, we get to the end of the game, where it's a basically 3v5, and we're just basically farming the Massachusetts. The Vladivostok is, for some reason, showing complete broadside. Or attempting to? But I think he finally decides to turn in. And either way, this game's effectively over. We're not gonna do all that much more damage. You do get 150k, but again, I think the real story here is, if you're playing any kind of ship, play it to its strengths. Otherwise, you're just gonna waste your time and your teammates' time not really achieving all that much in World of Warships. Now, at the same time, actually, wait, hang on, hang on. I just want to see the flattest duck get destroyed. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. No, oh, never mind. I thought it was going to be destroyed, but I guess that was a different game. Anyways, it just leaves the Yoshino and the Thunder, and we're going to cut to basically the end of the game because, well, Something a little bit interesting happens. Well, not interesting. I just thought it would be a funny ending. But until the next time, I'll see you all in the next one. I really need to find a new outro.